Protein powder is great for protein, but it doesn't have any nutrition. It doesn't have the fat that would help you access that nutrition if it had the nutrition in it. Eating a steak, eating ground meat is going to have the protein, the nutrition, and the fat. All of the things that you need in combination help you get more nutrition, help it become more bioavailable, and help you trigger more satiety hormones. Hey there, I wanted to let you know about my latest book, Body Confident, that's coming out in September 2024. Call it a critical thinking guide to your health journey because it is a framework, a guide, a blueprint that's going to help you understand and be able to filter all the information that's out there on the internet that you're getting from social media, YouTube. Go to bodyconfidentbook.com, sign up for updates. The book comes out in September. What's up everybody, Coach Bronson here, and we're gonna talk about a concept that I was introduced to the other day in a conversation I was having with a friend about the choices that we make and how some of them are good for us, but not as good as we think because they're actually not helping as much as they are removing things that were hurting. So the concept of healthy and not as healthy being different. Before we do that, please, subscribe to this channel. I uh, put videos out at least twice a week, some mostly, usually three times a week uh, between these types of conversations with just me talking to you guys, uh, interviews I have with friends, um, or Coach Nat and I talking on our weekend coffee talks. Click on the button, the little bell, and make sure to get notified every time a new video comes out. The more people that subscribe, the more I am enabled to continue to put out content, hopefully improve the quality of the content and help more people uh, understand how to apply all the information that's out there on the internet and figure out what's going to work best for them. Many people see progress when they first get started in their journey by making simple changes. And most of those changes have to do with removing things that are harmful that are adding stress and inflammation, that are net negative or net detractors to their overall metabolic function and health. Uh, we see a lot of people who make changes to, from standard American diet to keto versions of the same foods. And that can be beneficial. We see a lot of people go to shakes or uh, protein powders and use those to make recipes of breads and cakes and cookies and treats and things like that. Initially, that is a great thing to do. If that's what you need to do to get started in the process of understanding how food can impact your health and it helps you get rid of seed oils and processed foods and chemicals and colorings and all these other things. And it gets you to a, a closer to um, something that is going to be more beneficial for you. That is an amazing thing. And I want everybody to get started in whatever fashion again. I don't care how you get started do something that's going to be a better choice for you today than it was yesterday. Okay. And for some people that means two or three shakes a day. I would rather have you have a protein shake for every meal a day than, you know, go to McDonald's and eat a, a Big Mac fries and a Coke. That's just how it is. Okay. Obviously I would rather have you eat a steak or go get some eggs and ground beef and bacon, right? We want whole food sources of, of an actual, an actual food as much as possible but everybody starts somewhere and that may be where you need to start. The struggle and the challenge that I see people have is they start doing that and they see a ton of improvement and they think that's what they need to keep doing. Cause we hear the phrase, whatever you're doing, you got to keep doing it to stay where you got, where it got you. Right. And that's true to a point, but understanding what is it what you're doing? You cut out a bunch of things. You cut out a bunch of things that were taking away from you. Okay. The improvement that you're seeing, from that is a result of the removal of negative factors. Okay. That doesn't mean that you are necessarily in every case adding positive factors. And this is the difference. This is the catch. This is the, the understanding and level of, of comprehension. I want to help everybody get to is that doing things that are less unhealthy does not mean you are doing things that are more healthy. Okay? It's less unhealthy than what you were doing before, which means you're going to see a health improvement. The effect of that is health improvement. That doesn't mean you're doing things to improve your health. That doesn't mean what you're taking in is actually helping. 
it's a really hard concept. It, it, it's kind of a mind, you're flipping your mind around, all the negative, positive combinations, okay? If you are going from standard American diet to keto or carnivore, and one of the main things that you're doing, which I see a lot of people do, is introducing protein shakes or keto versions of the same foods you were eating before. The benefit you're getting is by the removal of a lot of the crap that was in your diet. The problem with subsisting with that or sustaining those as your solution long-term is they are generally no more nutritious than if you went to a completely whole foods diet and got rid of all the processed foods in your life. Okay. So you've, you've taken out the, the anti-nutrition, you've taken out the extra inflammation, you've taken out the poisons and the toxins, toxins for the most part, but you're not adding in things that are more beneficial for you. At some point, you have to get away from the treats. You have to get away from the shakes as the, 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 the main portion of your transition and start getting into real whole foods that actually provide more of what you need on top of not having the crap. Okay. Protein powder is great for protein, but it doesn't have any nutrition. It doesn't have the fat that would help you access that nutrition. If it had the nutrition in it, eating a steak, eating ground meat is going to have the protein, the nutrition, and the fat, all of the things that you need in combination, help you get more nutrition, help it become more bioavailable and help you trigger more satiety hormones. Protein powder doesn't do that. Keto, keto labeled processed food doesn't do that. It's no more nutritious than standard American food. It just has less of the inflammatory stuff in it. Okay. So wrapping your head around the idea that part of the process involves removing detractors, removing negative effect from your nutrition, the long-term sustainable part of your nutrition process and growth and journey really comes into play when you start thinking about what am I adding to my nutrition? How am I increasing the function of my body by adding things in? Okay. Taking away is great. Long-term success requires adding in. If you're stuck, if you've been keto for a year, two years, three years, and you haven't made a complete transition to only supplementing with processed versions of, with keto versions of processed food when you absolutely have to. If you haven't made the switch to, I'm going to get only whole food sources of animal meat and eggs. And if I do vegetables, which go for it, do some veggies. Okay. If I, if I do veggies, I'm going to prepare those veggies in such a way that I can optimize the nutrition that's in them, reduce the impact of any toxins and get the most from those veggies as I possibly can. If you're not focusing on whole foods, getting the most nutrients, the most bioavailable and the most, the most, uh, satiating options as possible, then you haven't added, you've only taken away. And that's only half the story. All right. If that makes sense, please comment. If you have any examples of that in your life, I'd love to hear how that's working for you. What are some of the changes that you've made in transitioning from maybe a standard, standard American diet to a keto or carnivore diet or any diet in general? It could be paleo, whole 30, uh, vegetarian, I don't care. And then how have you gone from just taking things away that were hurting you to learning how to add additional things that help you move to the next level?